Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, Jordan, and I'm back with another drawing video. Before we get into it, I just want to apologize if it looks like half of my face is on drugs. I had an eye infection and my eye is really sore. It's getting better now, but the past three days I haven't been able to draw because it's just like red and I can't really see out of it very well. So that's finally healing up. It's been really freaking annoying. It looks like I've been punched in the face or something. So I'm sorry for that. I'm gonna do my best with the face cam anyway. I just wanna introduce the drawing and then we're gonna jump into it. I'm drawing Monica from Doki Doki Literature Club. Heaps of people seem to want to see me draw her. My other Doki Doki drawing did really well. Lots of people seem to really like that. So I'm excited to draw Monica and I'll probably be drawing some of the other characters as well. Actually all of them, hopefully, because I've had a lot of fun doing them and I think it'd be a really cool series to do. Just kind of complete all of the girls from that game. So. If that interests you, definitely stick around on the channel because I'll be getting into them in the coming weeks and I think they're going to be really cool. I like how they've turned out so far. So what I'm going to do is read some of Monica's poems from the game and then continue on with the drawing. So I hope you guys enjoy. They're a bit messed up, but I had a lot of fun doing this one and I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's get on with it. Hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See? The direction the sparkle protrudes. A noisy neighbour? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No. I can't see. I reel blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas, already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realise now that I wasn't looking in, I was looking out, and he, on the other side, was looking in. The lady who knows everything. An old tale tells of a lady who wanders the earth, the lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady, who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather, lost adrift the sky, victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day I search, I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains, the last dim star glimmering in the twilit sky. Until one day, the wind ceases to blow, I fall, and I fall and fall and fall even more, gentle as a feather, a dry quill, expressionless. But a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes, and I find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything, knows what I am thinking. 
Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning. There is no purpose. And we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. Save me. The colours, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colours, flashing, expanding, piercing, red, green, blue, an endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop, violent, grating waveforms, squeaking, screeching, piercing, sine, cosine, tangent, like playing a chalkboard on a turntable like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust, an endless poem of meaningless. Load me. Save me, part two. The colours they won't. Bright, beautiful colours flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue, an endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. stop. Violent grating waveforms, squeaking, screeching, piercing, sine, cosine, tangent. Like playing a chalkboard on a turntable, like playing a knife on a breathing rib cage. An endless poem of meaningless. Delete her. Hole in Wall, Part 2 But he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glance at my surroundings. But my burnt eyes can no longer see colour. Are there others in this room? Are they talking? Or are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper? The sound of frantic scrolling playing tricks on my ears. The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipate before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. He's right there. Swallowing my fears, I brandish my pen. Happy End Pen in hand, I find my strength, the courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold this special day. After all, not all good things must come to an end. Fresh blood seeps through the line, parting her skin, and slowly colours her breast red. I begin to hyperventilate as my compulsion grows. The images won't go away. Images of me driving the knife into her flesh.